Hello everybody, Green Machine 55 here and welcome back. And today I wanted to give a try out to I am your president. <coughs> I just thought I mean I'm not into po uh, politics. Even though I'd rather see one or the other versus the other one actually win the current election, but I wanted to do something related to the upcoming elections coming up today <clears throat> and see how well I could be present in that scene. And for those of you who are not really into politics, not really into, you know, presidents in general, this is not really the game for you because I'll tell you right now, there's a lot of reading involved in other details. But if this is the kind of game you are interested in, continue with me and uh, uh, and there's other people who've done this game too. But uh, enough talk, let's get into it, shall we? Start myself a new game. Two scenarios. Make America great again. There are many challenges ahead, Mr. President. Better watch your step. You'll either die, a tough, or rule long enough to make America again. Don't ask me to pronounce that. Or prove yourself. It was a twist of fate that made you assume the powers of the presidency and try to fill your pre uh, predecessor's shoes. Try to overcome adversity and take your rightful place in the history book. Hmm. What sounds better? Prove ourselves and make America great again. If there is one thing I've learned from uh, kind of researching about this game, if you're new to this game, and by far this is one of the best representations of a uh, presidential or campaigning type of game out there so far, at least in my opinion that I've, and certain other opinions that I've seen on YouTube about the views and play through of this game. I would at least recommend that we start here with Make America Great Again. Once you get the hang of the game, then I would try Prove Yourself. And trust me, the next time I put, uh, bring this game up here, I will try to, uh, try to prove yourself and see how well we do then. But let's get started. And then choose difficulty level. Easy, choice, medium, or hard. To be honest, between these levels, if you're still new and not like completely familiar with uh, with the form of politics and the kind of stuff we're going to deal with in this kind of game, which is almost pretty darn accurate, it's smarter to stick between one of these two. Today, I'm going to show you going through in the easy form. I might do easy math this time around, show you how much more difficult the medium is next time, and doing it in hard mode. And like I said, I also try getting around to doing the previous show. And, they, and if we get this kind of difficulty choice, we'll do it in all three different steps as well. If you guys like me, uh, like me trying this uh, out. But let's uh, start with easy mode. An easy difficulty level means higher rewards, lower penalties, and hints in dialogue telling whether the number of points will increase or decrease. You can focus on decisions rather than fighting for survival. Medium. It is a standard difficulty level with no additional modifications to penalties and rewards. It does not increase hints on the direction of changes. 
and in hard mode, the struggle for survival, bigger penalties, smaller rewards, seasoned with more crises. But like I said, we'll start with easy today. I didn't like the look of the very first president I saw. Well, surely you know this kind of people that kept saying, if you don't like it, do better. So, yeah, I was the kind of kid to answer, challenge accepted. Nevertheless, I didn't know I would have to do better again so quickly. But here it was, the thought that if I were president back then, I would have worn a helmet. Yet, growing up, I realized that helmets do not always protect people from dying, but that I would. I also got to know that choosing the right confidant of your secrets is really important, and that mine would have been a locked diary. Time has passed, I got married, and if life has taught me anything about marriage, it's that you should never get married to that man. Back in the day, it was all like a game about doing better than my predecessors. But times got harder, darker. And I thought, maybe instead of trying to win the challenge, just look at our current uh, presidency. I was full of doubt. What would I do? Would I be able to save people? Or would I only make everything worse? That's a good question. I can never be sure. Well, almost never. What I'm sure of is that I would never have left you, Oppie. Good job, little one. Now you can rest. But I was not done yet. I no longer wished for would and wouldn't. I wanted the choice between do and don't. And I finally received that choice. Do you know what I would do differently if I was the president right now? If I was... Nothing. And you know why? Because now I am your president. And yes, there's a lot of comic, uh, comical details to this. Like the uh, characters, if you haven't already seen this game before, there's some comical details when you see the uh, characters walk in because they basically paper cutouts as you'll see when they walk back to the door later. But hello, Mr. President. It's strange to use this title for someone other than myself. However, if you are reading this, you just won the election and became my successor. So let me welcome you to the White House. The note you're reading now is just one of many I've left for the next president to continue my legacy and learn the nuisance of governing. Of course, you can decide to do this on your own. <clears throat> In some cases, I will. Just, just to get into it, because it's been a while since I attempted to try this, we're going to actually use the two-door. And sorry if I misspell anything. I want to do this more honestly directly and show you guys all the different forms of this game that I can. So bear with me. I'll try not to make this very long, but I just want to uh, make something that you guys would love to see and love to actually experience the game, even if you aren't you, uh, whether you're actually interested in trying this game, maybe there's something that you probably watched somebody play this game and haven't done uh, certain things on this game before, and uh, see how well I do as president. But it would be so much better if we were together. So let me show you around your office. A desk couches, some furniture, and a door. It is through this first door that all the world's troubles come. Let's try it out. Click on the door. And here's where I said you're going to see pretty much what looks like a paper cutout picture. 
But I will say, if there's any developers of this game or games like this game, I did find this game interesting, but if there's any game developers out there that ever see uh, mine and other creators' videos about games like this, to be honest, if you get this point of the video, to be honest, I would love a real game that actually not only is similar to this format, but uses more realistic type of people being able to move around your environment like an open world environment, being like actually going to the motorcade, dodging, uh, dodging, going to presidential events and debates and talk shows and stuff like that that no, uh, normal presidents do want to be able to create my own uh, person having like an actual presidential election especially if it's against previous presidents or especially the current presidency that's going through right now actually having to fight that political uh, fight to become the president getting in that office and then being able to actually use the c current details of like previous events of history to improve you know scenarios and that stuff that could have where, where you could show off how you could have improved or how much worse you, you know, someone like you could have caused our president, uh, our government to go. You know, something like, I wouldn't say like GTA, but style, but RPG. An open world where you can actually go around the office, check out things, maybe a little historical details about like George Washington's picture over there, or Abraham Lincoln, or maybe something about whatever previous president the game is based off of that you're replacing in the game, and the hardships of what you're having to uh, overcome or improve on from the previous president. Maybe even actually where you, there's an online version of it where you actually battle with uh, with maybe two or three people that you want to actually try to run against and become the next president and all that kind of stuff, you know? Like, a version of presidential elections and running the government of a country and that stuff that has never been done before in the kind of world that we do uh, that we have now in a lot of games and not just pc maybe even a console version but anyway let's move on enough of me rambling the paper cut out hello mr president it is my pleasure to welcome you to the White House. I am sure that your presidency will be great for America. This is the Chief of Staff. This is where you put your answers. You will have visitors every day. Every day. Some need your advice, while others want you to make decisions. Your position requires listening to all of them. But how do you solve their problems is entirely up to you. But remember, every choice will have short term, short and long term consequences. Select one option using basically whatever, oh, the keys, or in this case, I'm using a little mouse for some of the clicking stuff. P.S. You can also use the following. One, two, three, to select dialog options, space to speed up, and I'll make some of the text, explain the dialog, blah, blah, blah. And also, just for a heads up, well, if you've gotten this far, 
I'm sorry if the uh, audio of my voice is shitty or downgraded a bit. I've tried to adjust volumes, I've tried to improve the quality of my voice on this game, against the game and all that stuff by the time this video is posted, but um, my microphone on my gaming headset I had uh, went out. I don't know where my snowball microphone is, so I'm going to have to deal with a new headset. So bear with me. I promise I will try to do better down the road. But anyway. That's usually the scroll down if there's a lot more words to read through. So, and so am I. Thank you for the kind words. I say, thank you for the kind words. One of the short-term consequences is the statistics changes. But you can always predict which area of life will be affected by the decision but it's difficult to determine how and to what extent. There is no way to foretell all the future, my friend. If your statistics drop to zero and you fail to recover before the day ends, you'll lose. I just hope that we will get along. Basically, I said thank you for my kind words. The brighter colors is the word is my response. Is and the lighter colors or the darker colors are the ones obviously that the person I'm talking to is saying. I just hope that you will get along and the cooperation will be fruit. Their fruit. I may take some time to adjust, so please do not hurry. We have a lot of time. He may have a lot of time. I don't. <coughs> And I know you guys don't want to hear me droning on. If you guys like how I'm doing this, and you got this far in the video, leave a comment down below. If you would prefer me just to run through this, or maybe just playing this game, having playing this game and bringing up some kind of statistics and stuff about a uh, topic related to the game I'm playing. You know, let me know down in the comments. I really want to hear your guys' opinion because I value your guys' opinion. So, I will do what's best for my country. I am here to help my citizens. I will try my best. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I see what it means up there. If you if you look up top, if you look up top here, pay attention to up here in this circle. When I uh, move the cursor over top of the possible questioning here, the first one uh, uh, is the possibility that it will improve more on on the country. The other one would improve your uh, your view on uh, towards the people. Now, truthfully, the way things are today in our own government and everything, I'm gonna go with this answer for right now. Alright, we have to start working. The first we should do is to establish a party line so that both the government and the citizens can get accustomed to your values and principles. I understand that. The critical issue is your political party. How would you like to conduct your own politics? See, I want to run my party. I know perfectly well what party I belong to. Can you help me somehow? Hmm. Let's see. I want to run my party. I know perfectly well what party I belong to. 
me help me somehow I've done almost all three of these once playing this without recording it but I'm thinking but I think this time around can you help me somehow if you are not sure, we can always conduct a political survey. She will indicate whether you belong to the Republican or Democratic Party. You can also always choose your own party. I'd love to be a clear. I'll choose between the two parties myself. You know what? As much the way life is today, as much as I like, as much as I like Republicans over Democrats right now, and I know if any of you at least seen how the presidency's been and how this election has been going so far, and how messed up and how stupid the Democrats have been the last. Uh, the last few months going into the current elections, I'm definitely, uh, if I had a choice, I'd run my own party or at least be in the Republican side. So, so to be honest, let's try, I want to run my party. Well, interesting choice. Let's start by choosing the color of the party. There is a choice of yellow, green, or black. Why so few? Your party has a small budget. We use what we have. Okay, let it be. Well, considering that I'm... Considering the name title, we're going with green for our political party. I understand now. Please tell me what party you see as the biggest threat to you. In my opinion, both of them are, but in this day and age, in real life, Democrats are definitely against me. Now we need to think about what is essential to your party. I have a series of short questions prepared. Each time you can choose only one of two options. The project is able to do in the future will depend on me, but be careful. Okay, I understand. Healthcare or migration control? Hmm. That is definitely a tough choice. If I were to go by what's going on right now, my biggest problem would be migration control. But I'm thinking we need to work on health care. Social welfare or education. We're dealing with education. Diplomatic persons or law enforcement. Diplomatic presence or law enforcement. Well, the biggest question would be if I see law enforcement. There's two sides to the question about law enforcement. Is there a chance that I'm trying to improve law enforcement down the road from this question on getting law enforcement under control and actually doing their jobs like they should be doing or is that or on the other side of that coin turning myself into a dictator for uh and basically ruining my presidency let's say law enforcement this time domestic intelligence or export Let's say domestic intelligence. 
domestic labor or public infrastructure? Public infrastructure, if I'm correct, that's more about keeping jobs in our country more than going across the energy or import. Definitely energy. Great, we'll still need you to answer a few questions to determine your political views. No problem. <clears throat> you see what I mean? Paper cut out. Here's number two. Good morning, Mr. President. I am here to help you. Please try to answer as many questions as possible so that we can present a consistent image to the public. There are no wrong answers. Are you ready for? Okay, so direct your communication. Yes. Here we go. First question is, should gun control laws be more or less strict? The answers to these questions will affect your position on the political compass, and this position will determine what bills you will receive. Changes in compass position will occur throughout the game, but the next few questions will establish the base position of your presidency. Let's see. Everyone should be able to protect themselves with a gun. Stricter gun control laws would reduce the number of mass shooting incidents. I would prefer this one. How do you feel about the number of voting representatives? Knock it off, Oscar. Sorry about that. Oscar's a little German Shepherd and he's uh, sometimes being a little strict to his son with the house. Sometimes a boy for no reason. But anyway, how do you feel about the number of voting representatives? That should be high enough to be diversified. Less is better. Big government means big expenses and ineffectiveness. Big government means big expenses and ineffectiveness. That I actually agree with on that answer. Should all education be free for everyone? Now, only the best students could be rewarded with scholarships doing otherwise would lower educational standards. And everyone has a right to be educated. Oh, well, that's definitely a question. No, only the best students could be rewarded with scholarships doing otherwise would lower educational standards. Yes, everyone has a right to be educated. Hmm. Let's see. This time around, we'll see how this goes, but let's go ahead and say yes, everyone has the right to be educated. Do you think that minimum wage should be increased? Yes. Which president inspires you more? John F. Kennedy, Ronald Reagan. Hey boy. Just for the sake of it. I'm gonna say John F. Kennedy. But next time I will I'll play the game off camera sometime and see what answers I'd get if I tried doing none of those. And maybe do a little more research into any president that they mentioned besides those two on here. You'll see that 
minorities are underrepresented in pop culture. Do you agree that minorities are underrepresented in pop culture? I'm probably going to get heat for this, but I'm going to say yes. <clears throat> may get heat, may just be underestimating what I meant by that question. How do you feel about the military expenditure? The military expenditure. I said, I said, it should be decreased. It should be increased. I'm thinking it should be decreased, to be honest. We're spending way too much on that. Should we expand the visa waiver program? No. All people are welcome to the U.S. No, the U.S. priority is to take care of Americans. I don't have an opinion. At this point right now, I definitely want to say no. The U.S. priority is to take care of Americans. Do you believe that climate change is caused mostly by human activity? Now this is happening due to natural changes in the environment. Yes, and it will be this century greatest contributor to the extinction of species. Mm. I'm going to go with it hard to say. That's it, Mr. President. I will pass your answers to the campaign staff. And after the short analyst, they will propose the best way to present their views to the world. Chief of staff will come to you with the results right away. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Now, to be honest, I don't know if I want to continue. I might do one more round of this for a moment. If you've gotten this far and you like the video so far, or there's things about the video you'd like me uh, that, that I could do that you uh, that would improve your viewing of this video, or you want, or definitely would love to see me do more videos like this, leave a comment down below. And if you're new to this channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe. And I got plenty more videos for you to go through and check out, including my previous video on my link at the end here on taste testing uh, a uh, new sandwich at Wendy's. And also, you'll find a link uh, for an energy drink to try out called W Energy. I highly recommend you give that a try and use my link down below uh, for a discount and try the free sample. But let's move on. Now, this time we have the Chief of Staff. Hello again, Mr. President. Thank you for your answers to the questions. We will subject them to analysts and present them on the political compass. And where my feedback? Oh, it will take some time, perhaps tomorrow or after tomorrow. Is there something else? Yes, there are more things. Please look at this. This is a standard procedure, but it will put things in order. I have brought a short questionnaire and cited. There are some notes from your past, essential memos, and also questions about plans and future. Please fulfill it carefully, please. Of course. Mr. President, private 
for research purposes only. That's the president's private base. <laughs> ah, protected the way it is. Okay, serious layers would protect. Mm. I would rather be maybe hilarious. Let's see. You know what, just for the hell of it, let's start protected. Okay, surname. Woman of Russian origin brought Cold War dynamics into the president's marriage. Daughter Eleanor, a party animal, can be easily spotted in various nightclubs. Daughter Alyssa, president's older daughter, wife of Chester, runs a very popular blog. Son in law Chester. Alyssa's husband, Black Chief of the Town. Favorite child cause his life is an always fair. pizza and four people wanting to eat it. We should share it. There is a new secretary in the Oval Office. Hello, Julia. Let, let me show you around. Jill, Jane, Janet, I don't care. I will call you Becky. A very young, promising lady has given me a note with her private number. Well, I wouldn't be pleased, so I'd better throw it out. Area of interest. Know your business. Be open it. Invest, harvest, deceit. Aim to the sky, climb the ladder, shake right hands. Mm. 
Cristo. I don't know why, but I'm going to say that this time around. Vice President's assignment, friendship is power. You better walk in, friendship is power. Up and down. I'm going to go with friendship is power. Exhibition of the President's old book, opening scene. Some find their children, uh, childhood notes embarrassing while others enjoy reminiscing about the good old days. Our president must belong to the latter, since his first book will now be exhibited in the White House. Among them, one can find hidden gems like the president's encyclopedia, the president's own drawings, and the Mahajan president commented. I used to give the president a uh, mustache a crook. A mustache a crook piece, says the president. I don't feel guilty though, because I value my freedom above everything else. When my parents found out about this little thing, I simply replied, Mom, Dad, let my, uh, let my create my own president. Little did I know that I would become one myself. Already then, I felt like I knew what best for our country, so I just took the pencil and gave certain president's whiskers or a longer beard. I wish to be the president so badly that I even threw myself on the last page. I'm not going to apologize for that. Those were my books after all. I'm going to stick to that first one. Four case for the presidency. The president has always acted in a presidential way. Even in the high school, he knew being a power is never a piece of stake and requires making some tough decisions. So, when the president, so when the student, excuse me, council has the opportunity to decide on the school canteen menu, he decided to include all types of food according to the idea of the East of Zone, which resulted in bigger diversity, but also increased the cost of the food. Cut down on types of food, resigning mostly from the unhealthy ones. He argued that he cared about the health of the students and they couldn't eat junk food. I'm thinking more of that. Dan Williams diagnosed with brain aneurysm. What will his vice president do? Since Dan Williams is currently unable to govern due to his poor medical condition, the eyes of the world are on the vice president. Now he's the number one in the USA. Given the political path of the vice president, Americans may start to wonder what will happen next. <coughs> He is widely known for centralizing the power and keeping both his enemies and friends close. His new suffrage may come in handy pretty soon. Vice President is known to entrust his subordinates with equal parts, autonomous autonomy, responsibility, and most experts agree that he will probably not do this opportunity to receive in centralized political power. Um, we'll just see what happens if I leave it at the first one. Dan Williams saying I should bring him. Oh, no, Dan Williams, uh, widely known for centralizing the power and keeping focus. They'll give me a chance to answer that question again. Let's leave that again. Are you ready to submit your answer? Yes. Great, let's, uh, let's see. There's still one more thing we have to take care of before proceeding. Promises you made to our campaign. 
Let's pick a few you think you could deliver on. Election promises. Once elected, I vow to every president carries the burden of his own words. What were the promises that launched your presidency? What were you trying to accomplish during these four years? <clears throat> Main goal. Let's see. System control, urgent reform of policing, solve opioid crisis, new wo- war on terror, human mission to Mars, build the wall. I think the use of force by police officers has always been very troubling, and now the risk of being killed by police is higher than ever. Too. Anything you can to change that. Social unrest is harassing because our police and forces can't stop killing people for no particular reason. This relationship needs to change in any of That's definitely. Find a way to stop an opioid epidemic that is killing thousands of Americans every year. Take measures to reduce the amount of dangerous prescription drugs sold by numerous and to move the ones to edit. The level of people's satisfaction uh, with the standards of living and their likability. Okay. Minor goals. My console is very welcome. Yes, I'm doing a presidential game here. <coughs> Golden Standard, Hang on now, let's see what that does. Each new president has to struggle to establish his own place in the White House. Only later on will he be acknowledged by his peers. Take your friends carefully and always be all loyal allies. Eli is setting as technology ideas and to see new heights in terms of quality and efficiency. Some decide to pursue the present because of their sense of duty. Brothers, it seems unnatural of their ego-driven ambitions. I, on the other hand, wish to leave behind a legacy 
and go down in history as a U.S. president using education and technology to do another of the world. Advisors will keep track of all your promises so that you can check on them from time to time and find out what remains to be done. So from the highlighted item. Keep track of presidential promises, mingle, urgent, reform, and application, minor goals. Here you can see your progress in fulfilling promises and read their descriptions. Not fulfilling your election promises will make it much more difficult for you to win the election. Deadline to 21 turn. Urgent reform of uh, uh, police. Excessive use of force of The second type of task is quest. You can receive rewards for completing them or push toward other tasks and goals. Okay. Now these are the quests. Each includes a set of goals. Sometimes there is a time limit, reward, and punishment. Be sure to complete tasks and time so you won't suffer afterwards. Here is the task I've given you. Please read it and try to complete it. It's not difficult at all, and I believe in you. But first, let's finish the conversation. That was a busy day, Mr. President, and it's only the beginning. Now I will give you some time to settle down. You must gain strength since you have much to do during your presidency. I appreciate your help. Well, to be honest, that's quite an interesting detail. Plus, from the previous time, you managed to finish your work at a decent hour. I don't know if I'd say a decent hour, considering how long this video is probably is. Okay, good job, Mr. President. It was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You don't have to worry about trying everything right away. Let's turn off the lights. That's it for you today. There'll be plenty more opportunities. Just keep calm and do your job. So, uh, good luck. Hmm. Summary report number one. I've uh, definitely gained quite a bit in society, politics, industry, definitely in economy. Uh, my military went up. My 
diplomacy, society. Alright, so let's click in the planet. We have a little president for you. Okay, to be honest, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this here. Like I said, try a W energy drink. I'll leave the link down in the description below for uh, my discount link. I definitely recommend you at least get the sample, try it out for yourself, and if you love it, definitely leave a comment down below for me. Maybe comment for everybody else. I think we're gonna go ahead and end the video here, but next, but part two will be coming where we see where this goes from next. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.